Before we start today's video, I want to share with you my latest pickup from Clocks and Colors, their new Charge Sterling Silver Bracelet. This thing might just be my favorite piece that I've gotten from them thus far. I mean, I just absolutely love this thing. The detail is impeccable, and I just can't say enough of how much I love this brand. I've been a fan and a customer of this brand long before they started sending me awesome things like this. And another thing I want to mention is I haven't really been a huge bracelet guy in the past. A lot of them that I've had just really haven't appealed to me, but I can tell you you, I have worn this thing pretty much every day since I've got it. Again, it's sterling silver. It has half inch links detailed with regal flourishes and it has that super nice crest right there in the middle. The clasp too is also really high quality and hasn't shown me any issues at all. So far, it's just worked out really well. As I've said in the past, I highly recommend Clocks and Colors and I just absolutely love this brand and what they're doing. I mean, they're putting out new stuff like this every single week. So if you'd like to check them out, a link will be in the description if you're interested. Now, though, on to today's episode. What is happening, guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are starting our look at the full Lucky 13 product line. I'll actually be reviewing each product for you from their line, with each one getting its own separate video, starting first today with the Top Notch Clay Pomade, which, according to the brand, is a water-based clay pomade that features a high hold and a matte finish. The scent is also listed as Iced Noir with notes of oak moss, amber, and vanilla. Price-wise, we are looking at $15 for four ounces. Inside the jar now, we've got a very smooth product. It could be described as creamy, I guess, too, but it's not super creamy. It's more smooth. It's actually a really nice consistency, in my opinion. It's easy to get out and into the hand, and once it's there, it breaks down with very little pressure with a big helping of dryness and tack from the clays present in the formula. Moving on to using it now on dry hair as usual, nothing else added, just this clay pomade by itself. There does seem to be a shift in what's in the hand and then what is initially seen in the hair. It's super dry and tacky in the hand, but when it gets applied to the hair, that really dies down pretty much instantly, so the application is much smoother than what I initially expected. What's also a bit different here is the hold itself. Due to that stickiness and tack, along with the hold being listed as a high hold, I really did expect this to have a, a much larger presence in the hair than what it actually does. What I'm seeing here is something that has a much lighter presence. I actually had to use about three scoops to get my thicker hair type controlled enough to style with. Once it did get straightened out though, it responded really well to the comb and I was able to sculpt things out and get some great volume. Here's a look now at the end of day results. This is a full eight hours in, and what I see here is basically the structure of the style has fallen. It doesn't look like it inflated per se, but being as the whole presence and actual hold is just a bit light, I think the structure of the style just wasn't able to maintain as the day went on. Now, after doing all the testing and everything on this clay pomade, what I see here is a bit difficult to nail down. You see, the official definition of a clay pomade can really vary based on the brand or even the person, but for me, I've always really considered clay pomades to be clays with a natural finish or even a little shine to it. And that's not quite what I see here. This is very much a, a strong matte finish, so it's not typical in that regard, but I did find it to be very soft in its presentation and actually soft soft in its hold level too, so I do think that could be a, a kind of loose pomade-ish vibe. If I had to put a label on it though, I think for me this felt like a lighter and medium matte paste. I mean, it's definitely got some matte paste characteristics in my opinion. And after styling with it, I think with the hold being lighter, the actual hold strength, and then the presence in the hair being about the same, I really think folks with thin or fine hair would absolutely love this product. I think it's just like one of those clays that would work so well for your hair type. For me, however, I would have really liked to have seen more hold out of it. I mean, I did see some, but I really would have liked to have seen a lot more. I mean, I absolutely did not see the reported high hold, that's for sure. Lastly now, though, the scent here was a nice cologne finish. It's very fresh. I think Ice Noir describes it perfectly. It's fresh, almost cool, but not quite cool. It's just kind of on its way to being cool, and it's something that I actually really enjoyed. I thought it was a great scent choice. Being as it's, you know, an overall lighter product for me, or at least it was in my hair, the washout, it was nothing. It came 
out with just water, super easy, nothing else to report there. That though is what I see with the top notch clay palming from Lucky 13 and as usual the final verdict is up to you and if you'd like to check this out or really anything else from this brand there will be a link in the description as usual and while you're there make sure you do the usual for me like comment and subscribe that's a big deal thank you so much in advance for doing that take it easy I'll see you next time